Hello and good afternoon everybody and welcome back once again for another video of DIY investing. Not much has changed since my last update, so today I figured it would be a good idea to make things a little bit shorter. For today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some short-term technical analysis inside of Bitcoin. I have drawn two more price targets that I'm going to be using to accumulate Bitcoin for the inevitable retrace that I'm expecting to ensue back down to the 6k support floor. On top of that, we're going to be diving into some more XRP analysis. Because of my last video, I know that I have a lot of people that are expecting another XRP video. And so it's for that reason that I figured today would be a great opportunity to share with you guys my new price targets that I'm going to be watching to accumulate my long-term bags inside of XRP. XRP is in its last sell-off, and I do strongly believe that this is going to be the capitulation before we finally start that new bull cycle. So I wanted to go in, make sure that you guys know exactly what I'm thinking moving forward so that you know exactly where my price targets are so we can start to accumulate this dip together. If you're new and just finding this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more content like the one provided for you here. Hit that notification bell so you get updates on every single one of my videos. If you're looking for investment signals or you want to follow a community you can trust and share your own analysis and even copy my own analysis, click the invitation link in the description of this video and there you're going to get access to my Discord server. Currently we have just over 300 members and it's growing very, very quickly so make sure you get your spot reserved because there's going to be a certain point where it grows so big that I'm going to actually stop sending invitations. So make sure you jump in there. It's growing very fast. You guys aren't going to want to miss out on what's coming. With all that being said, let's jump right into the analysis today. Starting off this video, we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin on the dollar. Now, Bitcoin has really just stayed the course of my last analysis. Really, we've kind of retraced back down from that lowest point, and we're kind of just selling off from there. Now, what's happened thus far is we sold through our support at the 786 of about $7,300. And we're now making a new low. So I wanted to go through here and talk to you guys about my updated targets that I'm watching. Now, one thing that I can say is from this target, I actually have a few more long-term bids that are placed much lower than the 6K support floor. I have my first bid at 6,300. You guys already knew that from my last update. My next one is going to be placed at about 5,800, which if you guys were trading the last bear cycle, you'll know that $5,800 was basically the bottom of the descending triangle. That was the lowest point we hit before we sold through support. And then I have another updated target that I wanted to share with you guys, and that is actually going to be $5,300 or roughly this little block that we have down in here right before we ended up impulsing and breaking out of that 6K resistance in the new bull cycle. Now, you guys may be wondering why I have such low positions and orders that are waiting to be filled. And my reason for that is because of the fact I do believe that Bitcoin has the potential to drop down this far. Now, you guys got to remember that this is just a one wave based off of Elliott wave theory. And so based off of one wave, we had our one, three and five Elliott wave impulse up. And this completes a one. This is a big picture one. And then we'll get ready for the three. And the three is most likely going to break all time high. Now, I'm not trying to map out exact price targets. I'm just kind of showing you guys kind of the way Elliott Wave Theory works. But with that being said, with one waves, one waves can actually retrace really deep into their market structure. And that's something that can happen with regularity. And so it's something that I'm paying attention to personally because of the fact that the 618 failed. Realistically, guys, the next target uh, would be the 786 and that actually lines up pretty closely with the $5,300 level. And if I pull up Fibonacci, you're going to see exactly what I mean. Now, because of the fact I already have a price target set here at 58, that's right above the 786. And so I figured that I'd drop one just a tiny bit lower than the 786, which would be about $5,300. Now we can see here that the 786 lines up just below the 6K support. And I think that if we ended up retracing really far into this bear cycle, that would be exactly what we needed to completely shake out the rest of the market. Because you gotta remember guys, everybody that's trading this, most of them are noobs. I mean, now we have institutions that are at play, but the institutional investors don't make many mistakes and they have some of the most professional trading analysts that are here making the positions for them. And so I don't want you guys to be shaken out if we actually did start retracing and broke below the 6K support. If we broke below 58, a lot of people would be absolutely terrified of what's coming inside of the market. But I just want you guys to understand that there's still so much more bullish momentum in this market that I highly don't think that we're actually going to fall to new lows. I think that this is the bull market and it's just retracing a lot further than anybody expected. And I think the reason for that is because all of the new institutional hype that came in 
institutional money bought this dip and they accumulated on the way up and then you had real retail FOMO ensue right after that and so from here we had a massive bear market we went way too oversold for the actual value of Bitcoin. We went from 20K to 3,200, and then from 3,200, we impulsed a lot higher than the actual value. We went straight to 14K. And so now we're kind of just um, coming to an equilibrium inside of price. And so it's been very volatile. Not gonna lie, this has been one of the more volatile Bitcoin cycles we've ever had, but it doesn't change the fact that I'm still very bullish in the long term. I really highly expect us. I really highly doubt that we're actually going to go to new lows and this is just a dead cat bounce before bearish continuation in this bear cycle. I already think that this is the bull cycle and it's just the first leg up in that cycle. And with that being a one wave, we can actually retrace really far into that move. Technically, we could drop all the way back down to about $8,300 or the 88.3 the 88% fib and it would still be bullish and so that's just something I'm sharing with you guys updated price targets that I'm going to be accumulating my bids these are going to be my next three targets if we go lower than that um, like I said I'm just going to kind of do whatever I can to deploy extra cash but I wanted to give you guys exact price levels that I was going to be watching for inside of Bitcoin because at the time of this retrace I told you guys once we sold through seventy three hundred dollars I was just going to start deploying any extra cash that I had and that's still going to be the case right here the only difference is I'm actually giving you guys exact price targets in which I'm when I'm actually going to be deploying that extra cash that I have and so this is all I wanted to share with you I wanted to talk about the potential that we could actually drop back down to the 786 don't get shaken out because technically that would be piercing back below the 6k support floor and that would honestly scare almost everybody out of the market I think that what we need to experience is about a 90% uh, market sentiment shift where 90% of the market is bearish and about 10% of the market is bullish because that's the way that the the rules work inside of market trading out of the 100% of people that invest and trade in a financial market, only 10% will average a profitable return. And so it would make sense to me that we would follow probably closely to that 90-10 rule or maybe even closer to the 80-20 rule where about 80% of the market is bearish and then 20% or 10%, whatever it might be, somewhere in that range is actually on the opposite side of the market. And those are going to be the ones that profit. And so don't get shaken out if we actually fall back down to these really low support levels because this is going to be an excellent buying opportunity. And I'm honestly doing this as I'm I'm looking at this as the best opportunity that I'm going to have inside of Bitcoin probably for the rest of my life because after this retrace, I don't think that we're ever going to drop back down to a low level. In fact, after this retrace, it's more apparent to me that we're actually going to break on well above beyond all-time high. And so if you're trying to accumulate cheap Bitcoin for the long term, now is your opportunity to be doing so. I know a lot of analysts are going to be deploying a ton of cash at this 6K support floor and a lot of institutions are as well and so do yourself a favor and just don't get shaken out of the market by your human emotions just make sure you're sticking to a trading plan and following it through I'm currently completely unemotional in this time in fact I'm euphoric because I'm seeing how low the Bitcoin price is going and it's really exciting to me because I have extra cash that I can start deploying on the market so it's a really good opportunity for me I'm using that I'm looking at that as an opportunity and for that I'm so excited in these times so anyways, guys, this was the Bitcoin analysis that I had for you. Let's actually dive into the real part of this video and take a look at my new XRP price targets. All right, guys, here we are taking a look at my updated XRP analysis. Now, if you watched my last XRP video, you'll recognize this chart. Really, we're just repeating the same market cycle fractal that we had back in 2014 all the way to 2017. So about a three year cycle and we're continuing to repeat that same fractal once again. And I think that we're actually at the very terminal end of this correction. And we're about to start seeing that major price explosion into a uh, new price discovery that we've been expecting to see for quite some time now. So with that being said, I'm actually going to drop it to about a monthly time frame because everything tells a different story. Let's hide all drawing tools real quick. Now, what I told you guys in my last update was the fact that just pay attention to my crosshair because if I draw a tool, it's going to bring that back the whole chart and it's a little bit too messy. Uh, for analysis right now. So by taking a look at my crosshair tool, we can see that right where it's at now was monthly support. And then from this sell off, we actually sold through that monthly support. We had a buyback by this green candle and then this red candle was us rejecting off of that resistance. And so now we're selling off into this support cluster right here, right? And so with that being said, I wanted to give you guys an updated price target in which I'm going to be accumulating inside of XRP. I've already given you guys one, but now I'm actually going to drop and give you guys a couple more just so that you know exactly what I'm personally going to be rocking with. Now, even though we can see that we're rejecting off monthly resistance, this could technically be considered a descending triangle right around here. 
even though we're selling through that, I don't think that we're just gonna fall off the face of the earth. In fact, with all of the market sentiment being so absolutely bearish on XRP, I mean, I cannot explain to you guys enough how much negative uh, reaction I've actually experienced from the XRP haters recently. Anytime I post a ripple chart, you always have these crazy emotional people saying XRP will never pump, and they're so sure of themselves. It's ridiculous. They come in here and they talk so much crap on XRP. Everybody's calling it a shit coin. Top analysts are looking at this rejection and completely writing XRP off, and it's for that reason that they're not going to get the prime entries in this next cycle. And it's okay, guys. I know I've personally been able to completely minimize all emotions from my trading plan, and so what's happening now is a buying opportunity for for me. And while everybody else is fearful, even some of these top analysts that a lot of people look up to, they're not even writing XRP as a possibility of them investing in because they just see bearish continuation all across the board. And that's fine, guys. You got to remember that only 10% of the market is actually going to be a profitable trader or investor. And so all of these big accounts that you're following most likely aren't even able to make consistent gains. And if they do, they can only trade one side of the market. And that's one direction. One directional traders are never going to be successful in the long term longevity of the market because they're only riding the big picture trend. And while that is a very profitable skill that you can maximize in the time being, you gotta remember guys, that there's gonna be a come a point where there's so much money inside of crypto that it behaves more like the stock market where it just kinda has these little corrections on a bigger picture uh, parabolic trend. And that'll happen, the percent return will be much smaller inside of cryptocurrencies, and the parabolic runs will be less significant because there will be less volatility in the time. But with that being said guys, right now we have a great opportunity to be accumulating a lot of cheap XRP. And so if I drop it to a little bit shorter time frame, let's bring back our drawing tools. Let's take a look to, at my actual price targets that I'm going to be watching for inside of Ripple. Now, you guys already know what my first entry was, and that's going to be 20 cents. So let's draw one right here. 20 cents is going to be my next area where I actually have bids placed. I'm going to be filled on these because I'm going to be buying this dip very furiously because I don't expect this sell off to last much longer. Now, 20 cents is a very good entry because it's kind of like the average of this support cluster, I would say. We have this high and this low, this high, this low, this high, this low, and every three, one of these highs and lows react almost about an average of that point. And so for that reason, I think that 20 cents is gonna be a great buying opportunity. And it's also just right in the support cluster. I mean, even if it drops a little bit lower, we have so many more support levels right here that people aren't even paying attention to. I've seen a lot of crypto analysts that are drawing a trend line from here all the way up to here, and then this rejection, they're just writing it off. But do I have to remind you guys of the market cycle graph that everybody seems to forget when the market's going bearish because everybody's so damn emotional? I'll show it to you right here if you're not familiar. Market cycle graph. This shows the valuation of an asset inside of a market. Now, I've showed you guys the Wall Street cheat sheet, but this is actually a little bit different. We have smart money. This is the takeoff phase. Institutional awareness, that's the first sell-off. And then you have really the public um, enthusiasm where you get media attention and then the public buys and that's really what starts the big bubble right but after the bear cycle this is actually what happens this is the main trend this dotted line is the main trend we end up selling through that trend line and everybody that's what's known as despair and everybody's shaking out nobody wants to touch XRP nobody wants to touch whatever market it is that's sold through its trend line because that is a no-brainer that this market is dead only it's not and we're seeing the exact same thing inside of XRP. And so let's quickly draw what I'm actually talking about. So everybody's, for whatever reason, I've been seeing a lot of analysts draw this trend line. And everybody draws it a little differently because honestly, I've seen a lot of top accounts try and draw this trend line. And really it's just trying to fit their bias that this is bearish because you, if the only way that they do it is they drop it and they zoom out like this. So it actually looks a lot more even and then we can see that we have this trend line, right? This was the trend line in 2017. We fell down, we bounced off this trend line a lot of times, we sold through that, and then we got rejected right here. Now, because of that, I've seen a lot of crypto accounts saying that XRP is dead, saying that they're not gonna touch XRP because it's just too bearish, and that to me is a buy signal. I cannot stress that enough. Buy signal, buy signal, buy signal. That's all I'm hearing right now with the way market sentiment is going. And who knows, guys, maybe I'm completely wrong. And if I'm completely wrong, you guys can shill me in the comments and tell me how stupid I am, tell me how bad I suck at trading. But I can tell you guys, I've been through these cycles before, and I'm not stressing in the slightest. In fact, I'm so euphoric because I'm about to accumulate Ripple at 20 cents while everybody else isn't touching it. More money for me, right? 
Now with that being said, let's actually get into my next price targets. Now if we sold through that support, I would expect my next price target would be here at about 17 and a half cents. And then I would have one final target here at about 15 cents. Right about there, 15 cents. That would be my next target. And so for this next retrace that we're about to experience, because we have just sold through the short term support at about 24 cents. For this retrace, I'm buying at 20 cents. I'm buying here at 17 and a half cents. And then I'm buying here at 15 cents. And those are going to be the best options for me. Now, realistically, guys, if we ended up selling through that, then maybe you could start to make the assumption that this thing was bearish. And if we actually did end up breaking all this support and falling, the next support level isn't really going to be back down until about 0.06. And so that would be a very, very bearish scenario. If that was the case, I would expect Bitcoin to actually sell off significantly, maybe even go into new lows. But like I said, guys, I'm very much a Bitcoin bull and I don't even think that is a possibility at the time being. Right now, I'm in ultimate accumulation mode. You go, you guys know exactly why I'm in a commu you guys know exactly why I'm in accumulation mode based off of this last market cycle fractal and the exact symmetry that we're seeing right now. Now, in my last video, I told you guys roughly where I kind of thought that we were at in this cycle. And I'll zoom out and show you guys once more if you don't remember. Now, where I currently think we are with XRP is right here. We're just selling through this short term support. I said that right here was us rejecting on the current trend line. So where we sold through monthly support and got rejected, I think that that is the same place as what was right here. And so what we're experiencing now is the final sell-off, right? And so that final sell-off is gonna be our last good buying opportunity. So right here, right before we had our final sell-off and we chopped around a lot, that looks to me to be the same as what we saw right here. All this choppy action right before we sold through support, or right after we sold through support, support excuse me, all this choppy action is right before the final sell-off. And so we're going to have this final sell-off and that's going to be our last good buying opportunity. So for me, guys, I wanted to give you guys this exact analysis so you knew exactly where I was going to personally be structuring my entries, where I was going to be buying, why I'm not fearful, and why I'm able to actually keep my emotions out of this. Because, you know, you guys follow a lot of good analysts, but a lot of those analysts only have about 5 to 10% of their entire net worth valued inside of cryptocurrency and those are the same people that are really bearish inside of xrp and really bearish amongst a lot of the altcoins in general but for me i literally have 100 percent of my net worth in crypto everything i've ever made saved and you know accumulated is all inside of cryptocurrency right now and i'm the least emotional person that you'll probably find in the market right now in fact i'm an ultimate so I'm in ultimate euphoria seeing these markets go down because I really didn't think I'd have an opportunity to buy this cheap again. I mean, I actually accumulated a lot of XRP at 20 cents back in 2017 and I wrote out that final five wave impulse that we saw, which was, you know, maybe a 10x move. Yeah, so about a, almost an 18x move. And so I was able to make a lot of money. I think I made about a 10x return when I took the profits in XRP. And so I'm seeing the same support level and I actually have the opportunity to accumulate at the same prices that I had back in 2017. Are you kidding me? That's such an amazing opportunity and it's for these reasons I'm so excited to be buying XRP. Now, this is the update I had for you. I gotta keep it short and simple. I didn't really need to go into too much detail because I already gave you guys a full detailed analysis inside of XRP a couple days ago. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you go check it out. It's in my YouTube channel. I'll show you guys exactly what one. XRP is going to 100X or XRP is headed for $28 because that is actually my price target for the long term of this cycle. All the way up here, I do believe that we'll hit that price target. We could go higher than that. I'm not writing that off, but I personally am going to be taking profits at $9, $15, and $28. Those are my, that's just my trading plan. I'm sticking to my trading plan regardless if it goes higher. If it goes higher, I might just open some day trading positions and just risk a tiny amount of my portfolio. But overall, guys, you guys know that this is an investing channel. This is used to capture the longevity of the bullish trend. And so I wanted to keep all the emotions out of the market right now with all the chaos that's unfolding. Then you guys know exactly what I'm moving with rock. And you guys know exactly what I'm rocking with moving forward. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for the support. If you haven't already, click that notification bell and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any more updates like the one provided for you here. If you want investing signals or you want to follow a community you can trust and follow my analysis and even share analysis of your own, click the invitation link in the description of this video and there you're going to get access to my Discord server. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I will catch you in the next video. As always, peace out.